hello guys in this video we are going to be uh, making our to do list app uh, yeah uh, so basically uh, let's start so i'm just starting to rename the screen and i'm going to add a new uh, uh, new screen and then name it as uh, edit or uh, modify okay and then just start off by giving a good color background color uh, yeah so that looks good and then uh, let's add a button the text of the button will be new item the uh, I, I'm just setting, I'm just renaming it to uh, add new item button and then the background color of it to red. Uh, so this video is gonna be in uh, two part guy uh, two parts. So in the first part we are gonna just see how to save it in the stored uh, variable and then in the next part we are going to see how to delete it or and uh, uh, like a bonus feature all right so i'll just remove the radius and then right above it i'm adding a column and then in the column i'm adding a list viewer and it's up to you it's up to you guys to decide whether you want to show the arrow or no so uh yeah let's go to the uh components of the second screen and you're gonna add a column and a row and set the height of the row to fit contents and we're gonna add two buttons in the row so the text of the first button will be delete and the width of it uh, I'm gonna keep it as 35% and then I'm just removing the radius and i'm just i'll just rename it to button delete duplicate it and then uh, set that uh rename it to button and just setting the text of it to save background color to blue just remove the radius i'm gonna set the horizontal alignment of the Go to space around all right uh, so once this is done yeah so it's pretty much done and then in the column i'm just gonna add a text input whose uh, uh, of which the height and height and width is going uh, width is going to be a fill container and a fill container and text input items and then just go to advance just remove the background color and just remove this i'm removing the radii just scroll down and set the enable written key automatically to true and multi line also to true okay so yeah it's pretty much that so the design of this app is complete now let's go to the code so uh, when the i uh, the screen item opens if uh, uh, you need an if else block sorry if uh, just do that 
initialize a stored variable called the items and uh, if items uh, if the stored items is not equal to null we'll be setting the list viewer text items to uh, this variable all right else we are going to set the stored items variable to uh, just a minute empty list okay so basically uh, so this is how we are going to start and then when the add new item button is clicked we are going to navigate to the edit or modify screen and then just come back to the blocks here so when the button add is clicked we are going to check uh, if the text input is empty or no so if it is not empty then uh, we are gonna like um, if the text input items text is not empty then uh, then we are gonna save save it so basically uh, come to lists and then in list insert at first because we want the oh like the latest ones at the first so basically um, you're gonna insert it as uh, the text of the uh, text input and uh, the list is nothing but the stored items and then we are after that just outside the if we are going to navigate back to edit or modify so let's just check if it's working just reload the page once all right so when we live test it let's just My bandwidth is low. Just test it again. Okay. So basically, it's empty, and if we click new item, will be taken here. Uh, I don't know. There's some kind of a problem with this. So I'll just show you guys how to solve it in a minute. If we just type, uh, hi guys, and if I click save. Oh wait, we navigated to the wrong screen. We have navigated to the wrong screen. Okay, so if we live test it again, it's gonna have the hi guys here. If we try it again, then it's gonna be like this. Now see this, just so it's basically gonna be here. So basically it's this, I'll just show you guys an, an extra thing. Uh, so I'll just remove the text of them for now. And uh, okay, so basically this is going to be like a, like it's going to have a date and all that. So if you come to device. Current uh, year. I'm just gonna add a hyphen and then current month and then current day of the month. And then in between them, we are gonna add a hyphen or slash, however you guys prefer. And then we're just gonna need this a text here and then just a hyphen. So if I try it now, 
it's gonna be oh wait some error if I click save it's gonna have <coughs> Alright guys, so basically, uh, it's like that, uh, this is the first part, see you guys in the next video.